retracted. No, Sushi. Can't we try things my way occasionally? Oh, all right. Sushi. Do you mind if I show you something, Doctor? Feel the connection. Are you sure you did this, Vivian? This is like something the Lord made. <laughs> Look, uh, Mr. Saxon, Mr. Saxon, I acknowledge that these are uncharted waters, there are risks, but I think we have found a way to repair your daughter's heart. How? You're stationed uh, away in Norfolk, is it, Mrs. Saxon? Yes, sir. Been working on the Spencer, trying to get her back out to sea. You work, you work on engines, right? Yes, sir. Well, I'd be changing around some of the piping leading to and from your daughter's heart. Just, um, just switching around the pipes. Yes. Arteries that bring the blood to and from the heart to the lungs act just like pipes. Uh, I've been successful switching them around. It's that easy? No, it's not that easy. No surgery is, and this operation has special complications, but I still think it's worth doing. Well, um... We're going to talk about this, Doctor. Good idea. It's going to be a lot harder with the baby. We're going to have to collapse one of her lungs. She's already so cyanotic. She's not getting enough oxygen, and we're going to have to take away half of her lung function. You made those new clamps yet? I'm working on it. What if I shred her inside through those clamps? So many ways to fail. Every second counts. A single minute is too long. A single minute of poor blood flow to the brain. A single second of open bleeding. Are you saying I shouldn't allow this doctor to perform a miracle to save my baby? We don't get to demand miracles. Honey, God has his plans. Maybe we just have to accept it. And I was so happy when I was pregnant with Eileen. You know, I haven't had enough time. Why can't God let me get to know her first? I mean, I don't want to go against him. But why can't his plan be to let this doctor save her life? Professor Blaylock, Mrs. Saxon told me you plan to operate on her baby. Have you actually seen this child, Doctor? I check on her every day. And you're still going to proceed? Have you had any success in the lab? Absolutely. I successfully performed a shunt on a dog just two weeks ago. I can't imagine you're going to proceed based on a laboratory success on a dog. How many people have you saved? So what you're telling me is you're performing an experiment, not an operation? My instincts tell me nature made a mistake and I can fix it. Would you like to see what I've been doing, Father? And right now, my instincts tell me perhaps you should come back another day. What? Your quest for glory is vain, arrogant. It takes arrogance to cut someone with a scalpel to save their life. 
I have no doubt. But if you intervene with God's will, violate the purity of an innocent heart, the parents, not you, doctor, will bear the burden of guilt. Perhaps God is, as you say, trying to kill this child. I am not. Yeah. Looks like a train wreck. <sighs> what happened to you, Pontius? Maybe we should just stop here, Doctor. No. We're using the wrong vessel. What the hell's going on? Mm. Where the hell have you been, Vivian? I had a dream about this white woman last night. Well, perhaps that's something best kept to yourself. No. <laughs> I knew it was Eileen Saxon. She was all grown up. She was sitting there in the corner. She was knitting. And she let out a baby voice. And she fell over dead. I, I couldn't see it. But I knew the inside she had a baby heart. She just fell over. What the hell does that have to do? The stitches didn't grow. When we did the shunt on Pontius, he was 10 pounds. He went up to 20. He pulled it loose. I was wrong. Purse stringing doesn't work. We need a new stitching technique. The tennis on the back wall interrupted on the front wall. That's what we need. And then the shunt will grow. 65% oxygenation. She's deteriorating so rapidly. How will you have time to practice the operation? We can't let her. What about the new stitching technique? I'm trying it out tomorrow. Hey, you have to see this. Vivian Thomas is operating, assisted by the chief of surgery. Oh. The end down the anastomosis. No, slow, gentle arc. I can't see. Can you see? Uh, could you adjust that lamp? Are the clamp still holding? Yes. No kinking? None. Right, now for the tough part. Continuous sutures on the back wall. Interrupted on the front. Feel the flow of the lungs. Mm. <laughs> Hella, tell the Saxons we'll be operating. Oh, you betcha. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be ready. Yes, now that I've seen the master at work. The master of the house. Your daddy should be proud of you. I think he is. Mine was only proud of the fact that I could wiggle my ears. I think he'll be proud when he operates. He's dead. Dead are with us all the time, I believe. Can't separate the past from the future any more. You can the right arm from your left arm. Ah, uh, but you see, they are separated by this, by the heart. All connected. Or connected. 